Thank you so much for joining us today on the One Year Bible Journey. I'm your host, Anthony Wade, and this episode is for May 13th. Today is day 133 on our journey, and we're going to be reading 1 Chronicles, chapters 6 and 7. First Chronicles chapter 6 The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The children of Amram were Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. And the sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Eleazar begot Phinehas, and Phinehas begot Abishua. Abishua begot Bukai, and Bukai begot Uzai. Uzai begot Zerahiah, and Zerahiah begot Moriath. Moriath begot Amariah, and Amariah begot Ahitub. Ahitub begot Zadok, and Zadok begot Ahimaaz. Ahimaaz begot Azariah, and Azariah begot Johanan. Johanan begot Azariah. It was he who ministered as priest in the temple that Solomon built in Jerusalem. Azariah begot Amariah, and Amariah begot Ahitub. Ahitub begot Zadok, and Zadok begot Shalom. Shalom begot Hilkiah, and Hilkiah begot Azariah. Azariah begot Sariah, and Sariah begot Jehozadak. Jehozadak went into captivity when the Lord carried Judah and Jerusalem into captivity by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon, Libni and Shimei. The sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The sons of Merari were Malai and Mushai. Now these are the families of the Levites according to their fathers. Of Gershon were Libni, his son, Jahath, his son, Zimna, his son, Joah, his son, Ido, his son, Zerah, his son, and Jeatharai, his son. The sons of Kohath were Aminadab, his son, Korah, his son, Asir, his son, Elkanah, his son, Ebiaseth, his son, Asir, his son, Tehath, his son, Uriel, his son, Uzziah, his son, and Shaul, his son. The sons of Elkanah were Amasai and Ahimoth. As for Elkanah, the sons of Elkanah were Zophai, his son, Nahath, his son, Eliab, his son, Jeroam, his son, and Elkanah, his son. The sons of Samuel were Joel, the firstborn, and Abijah, the second. The sons of Merari were Malai, Libni, his son, Shimei, his son, Uzzah, his son, Shimea, his son, Haggaiah, his son, and Asiah, his son. Now these are the men whom David appointed over the service of song in the house of the Lord, after the ark came to rest. They were ministering with music before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of meeting, until Solomon had built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem, and they served in their office according to their order. And these are the ones who ministered with their sons. Of the sons of the Kohathites were Heman the singer, the son of Joel, the son of Samuel, the son of Elkanah, the son of Jeroam, the son of Eliel, the son of Toa, the son of Zuf, the son of Elkanah, the son of Mahath, the son of Amasai, the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tehath, the son of Asir, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, the son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel. And his brother Asaph, who stood at his right hand, was Asaph, the son of Berechiah, the son of Shimea, the son of Michael, the son of Baasiah, the son of Malchijah, the son of Ithni, the son of Zerah, the son of Adiah, the son of Ethan, the son of Zimah, the son of Shimei, the son of Jahath, the son of Gershon, the son of Levi. Their brethren, the sons of Merari, on the left hand, were Ethan, the son of Kishai, the son of Abdi, the son of Malak, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Amaziah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Amzai, the son of Bani, the son of Shamer, the son of Malai, the son of Mushai, the son of Merari, the son of Levi. And their brethren, the Levites, were appointed to every kind of service of the tabernacle of the house of God. 
But Aaron and his sons offered sacrifices on the altar of burnt offering and on the altar of incense for all the work of the most holy place and to make atonement for Israel according to all that Moses the servant of God had commanded. Now these are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Bukai his son, Uzai his son, Zerahiah his son, Mariath his son, Amariah his son, Ahitub his son, Zadok his son, and Ahimaaz his son. Now these are their dwelling places throughout their settlements in their territory, for they were given by lot to the sons of Aaron of the family of the Kohathites. They gave them Hebron in the land of Judah with its surrounding common lands. But the fields of the city and its villages they gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh. And to the sons of Aaron they gave one of the cities of refuge, Hebron, also Libna with its common lands, Jatir, Eshtemoah with its common lands, Hylin with its common lands, Debir with its common lands, Ashan with its common lands, and Beth Shemesh with its common lands. And from the tribe of Benjamin, Geba with its common lands, Alameth with its common lands, and Anathoth with its common lands. All their cities among their families were thirteen. To the rest of the family of the tribe of the Kohathites, they gave by lot ten cities from half the tribe of Manasseh. And to the sons of Gershon, throughout their families, they gave thirteen cities from the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. To the sons of Merari, throughout their families, they gave twelve cities from the tribe of Reuben, from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulun. So the children of Israel gave these cities with their common lands to the Levites. And they gave by lot from the tribe of the children of Judah, from the tribe of the children of Simeon, and from the tribe of the children of Benjamin, these cities which are called by their names. Now some of the families of the sons of Kohath were given cities as their territory from the tribe of Ephraim. And they gave them one of the cities of refuge, Shechem with its common lands, in the mountains of Ephraim, also Gezer with its common lands, Jachmiam with its common lands, Beth Horon with its common lands, Aijalon with its common lands, and Gath Ramon with its common lands. And from the half tribe of Manasseh, Aner with its common lands, and Biliam with its common lands, for the rest of the family of the sons of Kohath. From the family of the half tribe of Manasseh, the sons of Gershon were given Golan in Bashan with its common lands, and Ashtaroth with its common lands. And from the tribe of Issachar, Kedesh with its common lands, Dabarath with its common lands, Ramoth with its common lands, and Anim with its common lands. And from the tribe of Asher, Meshal with its common lands, Abdon with its common lands, Hukok with its common lands, and Rehob with its common lands. And from the tribe of Naphtali, Kedesh in Galilee with its common lands, Haman with its common lands, and Kirjathaim with its common lands. From the tribe of Zebulun, the rest of the children of Merari were given Ramon with its common lands, and Tabor with its common lands. And on the other side of the Jordan, across from Jericho, on the east side of the Jordan, they were given from the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with its common lands, Jaza with its common lands, Kedemoth with its common lands, and Mephaoth with its common lands. And from the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with its common lands, Mahanaim with its common lands, Heshbon with its common lands, and Jazer with its common lands. 1 Chronicles chapter 7 The sons of Issachar were Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron, four in all. The sons of Tola were Uzai, Rephiah, Jeriel, Jamai, Jibsam, and Shemuel, heads of their father's house. The sons of Tola were mighty men of valor in their generations. Their number in the days of David was 22,600. The son of Uzai was Israhiah, and the sons of Israhiah were Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah. All five of them were chief men. And with them by their generations, according to their father's houses, were 36,000 troops ready for war, for they had many wives and sons. Now their brethren among all the families of Issachar were mighty men of valor, listed by their genealogies, 87,000 in all. The sons of Benjamin were Bela, Becher, and Jediel, three in all. 
The sons of Bela were Esban, Uzai, Uziel, Jeremoth, and Irai, five in all. They were heads of their fathers' houses, and they were listed by their genealogies, 22,034 mighty men of valor. The sons of Becher were Zemira, Joash, Eliezer, Elioenai, Amri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alameth. All these are the sons of Becher. And they were recorded by genealogy according to their generations, heads of their fathers' houses, 20,200 mighty men of valor. The son of Jediel was Bilhan, and the sons of Bilhan were Jeush, Benjamin, Ehud, Kanaanah, Zethan, Tharshish, and Ahishahar. All these sons of Jediel were heads of their fathers' houses. There were 17,200 mighty men of valor fit to go out for war and battle. Shupim and Hupim were the sons of Er, and Hushim was the son of Aher. The sons of Naphtali were Jaziel, Gunai, Jezer, and Shalom, the sons of Bilhah. The descendants of Manasseh, his Syrian concubine, bore him Makir, the father of Gilead, the father of Azrael. Makir took as his wife the sister of Hupim and Shupim, whose name was Maacah. The name of Gilead's grandson was Zelophehad, but Zelophehad begot only daughters. Maacah, the wife of Makir, bore a son, and she called his name Peresh. The name of his brother was Sheresh, and his sons were Ulam and Rechem. The son of Ulam was Bedan. These were the descendants of Gilead, the son of Makir, the son of Manasseh. His sister Hamoliketh bore Ishhad, Abiezer, and Mala. And the sons of Shemida were Ahian, Shechem, Lichai, and Anayim. The sons of Ephraim were Shuthalah, Bered his son, Tehath his son, Eladah his son, Tehath his son, Zabad his son, Shuthalah his son, and Ezer and Eliad. The men of Gath who were born in that land killed them because they came down to take away their cattle. Then Ephraim their father mourned many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. And when he went in to his wife, she conceived and bore a son, and he called his name Bariah, because tragedy had come upon his house. Now his daughter was Shearah, who built lower and upper Beth Horon, and Uzin Shearah. And Repha was his son, as well as Resheph and Tila his son, Tehan his son, Laodon his son, Amihud his son, Elishama his son, Nun his son, and Joshua his son. Now their possessions and dwelling places were Bethel and its towns, to the east Naaron, to the west Gezer and its towns, and Shechem and its towns, as far as Ayah and its towns. And by the borders of the children of Manasseh were Bethshean and its towns, Teanach and its towns, Megiddo and its towns, Dor and its towns. In these dwelt the children of Joseph, the son of Israel. The sons of Asher were Imna, Ishva, Ishvai, Bariah, and their sister, Sirah. The sons of Bariah were Heber and Malkiel, who was the father of Bizraith. And Heber begot Japhlet, Shomer, Hotham, and their sister Shua. The sons of Japhlet were Pesach, Bimhal, and Ashbath. These were the children of Japhlet. The sons of Shemer were Ahai, Rogah, Jehuba, and Aram. And the sons of his brother Helam were Zophah, Imna, Shelesh, and Amal. The sons of Zophah were Shua, Harnifer, Shual, Birai, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shama, Shilsha, Jithron, and Biera. The sons of Jether were Jephunneh, Pispa, and Era. The sons of Ula were Era, Heniel, and Rizia. All these were the children of Asher, heads of their fathers' houses, choice men, mighty men of valor, chief leaders. And they were recorded by genealogies among the army fit for battle. Their number was 26,000. Thanks again for joining us on this amazing journey through the Bible. For additional resources to help you grow in your walk of faith, please visit our website at anthonywade.org. Have a blessed day and remember that Jesus is Lord and you are complete in Him.